Oh, hi, everyone. Welcome again. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about a rather controversial exercise that we all talk about in bodybuilding, which is the chest work. A lot of people prefer to do the flat, which in many ways, as you've seen it in uh, some uh, physiology videos of the damage and the fray of the shoulder capsule and the ligaments uh, structure around the shoulder. Uh, also, a lot of people do it wrong because they continue to arch their lower back off the bench. So the exercise actually becomes like a leg workout, not really a chest. And they take their hands on a wide grip, which is really not recommended because it takes more work on the shoulders. Apart from that, it does not address the entire development for the pectoralis. It's a small part of the pectoralis that affects it. So my preference here is the one that actually corresponds to the biomechanics reasons and, and the angles that actually uh, correspond to the chest. Your pectoralis as muscle actually is layered on the rib cage, which is not a square. It is an angle. So basically, according to biomechanics, the line of force should be 90 degrees above the surface of the pectoralis. That's why in order to follow this recommendation, I would use an inclined bench like this one here, about 40 degrees, a little more than 40. So I can actually get into that accurate angle for the biomechanics uh, that requires to really get an ample and enough recruitment for the chest muscle itself, which is the major uh, part of it. So I'm gonna go on the bench here and demo for you. And then we'll do a few reps here with the weight, brace myself tight on the bench with the grip wide, not too, too wide, just outside the shoulder width. And I will grab the weight, basically right above my chest and my eye level, almost. I will descend slower and push back stronger, coming down and up again, coming down and up again, and breathe in and out. So basically, I don't lower my elbow too far down. Some people will ask why I'm not doing that. I will talk about it later on in a different video. But take it as you see it right now and do it. And basically, when you're done, lower, put the weight back on the rack and do the movement. So basically, this angle is the most complete biomechanically and accurate angle to train the major area of the chest. There are other exercises. We'll get to talk about, about them later on in a different episode. But today, uh, I wanted to give you that exercise. You can actually start correcting some of your style about training. And also, I want to take a chance uh, today and uh, invite all my Arabic-speaking audience to really follow the link under this video to the Arabic channel I just opened newly. And I love to see everyone subscribing. And I want to thank you for viewing today. And please don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends about it. And until next time, thank you very much. And we'll see you later.